Well, you have the former top Clinton insider who ran their campaigns gubernatorially and then got out once he was president because of the crimes they were committing, Larry Nichols. And by the way, Larry didn't even want us to show him on camera. Well, it was he was like aiming at the top of his head. He's always asking me, you know, not to get into the details of what he's going through medically, but he is battling very, very serious cancer. And he's got a tracheotomy in right now, and he wanted to cover it up, the, how he's talking, and didn't want to show the bottom of his face. And I said, look, Larry, people need to know how sick you are while you're battling this. He's having surgery constantly. He's in the hospital. Sometimes he can't come on because uh, he's, he's in such bad shape. He knows, though, they can also sneak in the hospital and kill him, so he doesn't want to talk about the fact of how sick he is. But if they're going to do that, it's known how sick he is to begin with. But he is knocking on heaven's door, in my opinion. And I know the look of somebody that's fighting with their life, looking at him on the Skype a minute ago. He just had to go to the bathroom, too. He's so sick. So we're waiting. We can do a shot for TV viewers right now. We're waiting for Nichols, who's you know there at his couch by his bed, uh, fighting the Clintons that hard. And he was a Green Beret in special operations. Black ops all over the world when he got hired in for the Clintons to be basically uh, his uh, dirty tricks operative. And he knows physically where the bodies are buried. He hadn't told me where they are, but I mean, that's why he's still alive. They really fear him. And uh, we just hope and he hopes he can stay around through this election. Uh, and, and, and that said, the guy lost everything. He didn't even ask me to do this today. Uh, can't get business, anything, doing all this, the medical bills, you name it. Um, I'm going to put up his P.O. box right now. Nichols live at AOL.com. And really most of his problems is the guy last time I talked to him was selling his furniture. We even went up there to interview him in Arkansas, selling his furniture to pay for his medical bills, um, battling lung cancer, folks. Nichols live at AOL.com. And right now, this is the big secret. He's already signed his do not resuscitate orders. He's just trying to stay alive through pure will to try to defeat the globalists in this election. So let's put it back on screen for folks to support him right now. Nichols Live at AOL.com. And Larry, I went ahead and just spilt the beans because I'm not going to sit here but I got a tracheotomy in your neck and the whole thing and cover it up and not explain to people how sick you are while you're doing this. And sometimes you've had to be on the phone because you have to crawl over on some of these shows in your bed. But let's put it back on screen for TV viewers and radio listeners. Nichols Live, one word, Nichols Live at AOL.com on PayPal. And then Larry Nichols, 58, Kingsington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. That said, it's because people that tell the truth need to be supported. We were just talking to one of the famous women that Clinton settled with over rape. And she wasn't even asking for help. I had just heard through insiders that they'd been messing with her, having people harass her, trying to take her house. They come after you, folks. And everybody goes, well, we better just shut up and not fight the establishment. That's how we got here. They come after your name, your treasure, your family, your health, everything. That's why almost every guest I have on, I'm like, hey, get their book, get their video, support them. The Clintons, when it came out in the secret documents that uh, Judicial Watch sued for and got part of them, then uh, the Western Journalism Center, Joseph Farris, saw those, sued and got all of them, 30-something thousand pages of the Clinton Library. And it's so explosive, they don't even know if they can release them because they could be liable. Now they know why they were secret. It is how they were going to shut down the media, how they were going to take over, how they'd call anybody a conspiracy theorist that criticized them for crimes, and how they couldn't allow any media, liberal or conservative, to develop that they didn't control. And it was them threatening ABC, CBS, NBC, you name it, in 1993, as soon as they got in the White House. And, man, you see those talking points, you see the media following them today. So that's what happens. They come after you. And the problem is so many people stood up now that, it's like the waves used to be so big because there were so few, it'd crush you. Now, have the waves gotten smaller or has liberty gotten bigger? The waves still hitting us in the chest. There's a lot of them, but there's people that were there at first, like Nichols, that is under the water, folks. So that's why we need to support these people. And several before we go to our guest, because I only plugged once last hour, we sell incredibly high-quality products at the very lowest prices that we know are game changers and are 360 wins. Whether it's the colloidal silver, we sell at the lowest price, highest quality you can get from the biggest, most successful, approved laboratory in the United States. Same stuff they sell at Whole Foods. Ours is just lower price, private label. And we've got huge discounts on that. Sixteen ninety six right now. I mean, it's twenty five dollars at other stores. 
Uh, we've got Anthroplex, an incredible male and female enhancement with known herbs and minerals that fuse together to give you the base you need to block the, the estrogen mimickers and all the rest of it. You then take it with super male or super female vitality. And look, just get a bottle, see what happens for yourself. You'll be supporting the broadcast. You can't lose. And I know you're going to reorder like 98% of people do. I mean, it's it, it, uh, this doesn't have reviews yet because it just came out two days ago. Look at the Super Male Vitality reviews, 4.8 stars, thousands of five stars. It'll blow you away. So introducing Anthroplex, uh, the twice-daily pill formulated for men. Anthroplex synergistically works with Super Male Vitality by using key ingredients that you have been asking for, like horny goat weed, zinc, orotate, newly balanced blend of other known organic herbs. Anthroplex was created to help restore the masculine or feminine foundations and stimulate vitality with its own blend of unique ingredients. You can get 15% off introductory offer and free shipping when you get it with super male vitality or female vitality or buy it individually. And by the way, every new product we come out with sells out because so we'll do a limited run. I thought we'd have this for at least two weeks because I got a pretty big pre-order. At current sales rates, it'll sell out by next Wednesday. I told you DNA Force would sell out within three or four days at the price we discounted it. It did. We won't have more of it for four weeks. We're trying to rush it getting here. But the, the ingredients are so organic, so hardcore sourced that it's it, it's hard to do. I mean, we could water it down, take things out, do things. We can't do that. That's why these are such game-changing products. And your purchase funds, everything we're doing, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. Now, that said, it's, it, it's important to support our frontline guests that are such activists for liberty and risk their lives. It's just as important to support InfoWars. It's just as important to support the sponsors of GCNlive.com. But it's even more important that you spread the word about the broadcast, that you pray for those that are on the broadcast. We need those prayers, folks. We need God's providence. And that you also support our local AM and FM affiliates, their sponsors, become a sponsor, or just make a donation to that station. Buy them a billboard. Whatever. Just get it done. Now's the time for the maximum effort. All right, I don't normally start plugging at the start of an hour, but I wanted to talk about Larry. When he's going through it, I don't like to talk about his own physical issues. And maybe before you go, you'll go ahead and let us know. We got you till about 40 after. Then I'm going to blitzkrieg through economic news, election news, military news. We haven't covered yet. Obama and the mosque, totally sickening. He literally, when he goes to a church, has him cover up Christ with a hood uh, like he's being abducted. But here they hung up the name of Allah a hundred times behind him. Again, it's a rubbing it in the face, and he criticized Christians and hate speech while he was there, just like he does on Easter, just like he does on Christmas. I mean, it's crazy. But we're going to get into that later. I know you've got your latest intel from your sources on the attempts to bring down Trump, Hillary, Obama. Are they going to bring in a dark horse like Joe Biden uh, or Bloomberg? So Larry Nichols, uh, former top Clinton insider. Thank you for coming on with us, buddy. You bet, Alex. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I know you got a deal in your neck and you just got out of surgery in the hospital. We appreciate you coming on with us. Um, you want to address your health issues right up front or get to it later? Oh, yeah, it's just a mess. Let's don't worry with it. It's, uh, it's something I'll fight through because, Alex, this is the last chance we get to try to do anything to save this country. And to be quite honest, it's now or never. And as you saw in the Iowa caucus, uh, Cruz has taken several of the plays out of the playbook for the Clintons, dirty tricks. And uh, I'd like to tell you about something that's going on, if I may, which is a little bit out of the Clinton world, but I got some news about the Clinton world. Out of the Clinton world, you need to know, folks, the National Chambers of Commerce, a man named Donahue, they are pouring millions, millions into stopping Trump. They're in bed with Carl Rove and the boys. And that's where a lot of the funding, but Alex, here's the kicker. The RNC with Carl Rove, the establishment, they've gone around to Fox, to Mark Levin, to Limbaugh, to you name it. They've gone to all of Glenn Beck, all of these places, putting pressure on them to stop Trump, talk bad about him. And that's inside baseball. I want you to break it down. The good news is 
Limbaugh has pretty much said no to them. And boy, the word is they're going after him now. They're going after him. Well, know, I'm proud of Limbaugh because he's you bet. He, he's done some good, some bad. But here at the here at the end, I think he's choosing America. Well, I think even Rush Limbaugh understands there are times in this country, Alex, where you have to go beyond self. Now, it might be easier for Limbaugh with the millions he's got to be able to have integrity. I don't know, but thank God he has fought it and is fighting it to date. Now, Hillary, here's the news about that. Hillary has warned that if they indict her, she will release, release all, all the information she has on everyone in Washington. Even Republicans, Alex, are going to Obama. They don't indict her. She will destroy Washington. I happen to know what she has. She released. She can release all of the secrets that are to never be told about Washington D.C. And she is holding that over their heads. And if anybody wonders why there can be all of this evidence and yet no indictment, that's why. They also got to know she's very upset that she has a shadow candidacy in Joe Biden. Stay there. I'm going to come right back and give you the floor, Larry Nichols, on the inside scoop on the Clintons right now and where all this is going. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show, the very tip of the spear of telling the truth, folks. This is the real deal. This is the defense of the republic. You're seeing it. You're part of it. Larry Nichols is our guest. Huge news at DrudgeReport.com. And I'm going to copy his headline with a screenshot of Drudge, post it to InfoWars, and then post part of the article under it with our link to Jakari Jackson's report a year and a half ago with the emergency manager of McAllen, Texas, saying we've been ordered to ship the illegals in, load them on buses, and the Border Patrol pays to ship them into the U.S. This has been going on for two years. This is an Examiner article. Border agent, we might as well abolish our immigration laws altogether. They're being told don't show up to court, don't do anything. Might as well abolish immigration laws. It's already been done by fiat, folks. That's why they're told let the illegals in from all over the world landing at JFK. And it just keeps happening every day. And they go, oh, it's an accident. And it's not an accident. Folks, fine, let all the illegals in and drive down the wages and we implode. Here's the issue. Citizens still are going to be harassed and be groped. And it's, see, it's a takeover, a criminal takeover. And the sky's the limit. And the Republicans will do nothing. And they say, Donald Trump's disqualified for saying, stop this. We have no nation. This is global government. That's what's happening. And thank God it's finally in other newspapers after us exposing it a year and a half ago. I don't want to be the only one exposing this. They asked a border agent about it on Fox News six months after. We hear reports that you help ship them in. He goes, yes, it's secret. I can't tell you. But we're ordered to, quote, complete the smuggling process. In fact, I want to find that clip. Headline, border agent tells Fox we're ordered to complete smuggling process. I want to find that clip. Larry, you'll be with this till 45 after. I'm stealing time here from you ranting. It just shows how dire our straits are. Getting back to the Clinton strategies to continue all of this. But it just shows how blatant they just ignore whatever laws they want while throwing the IRS book at the Tea Party. You know, Alex, this is what I've tried to tell, and I know you and I both. Well, we told this 23 years ago about Bill Clinton. This is what they want. This is what they're doing. And when you think in terms, folk of e folks of illegals, you better think of a driver's license, and you better think of voting. That's why I say to you all, oh, this is our last election. Oh, there'll be other elections, but this is the last one if we don't win where we will be relevant. Now, back to Hillary, Alex, she's got the files on all of them. I'm talking about the raw FBI data, the stuff she can tell. She will bring them all down, and she has made it quite clear. You indict me, everyone goes. I hear all the time, what's this new FBI director, Toomey or whatever, and he's beyond reproach. He is da-da-da. Are you kidding me, folks? I don't care if he's a Republican. I don't care if he's the Pope. Do you really believe Obama would appoint someone to head up the FBI that he doesn't control? Surely you don't. Now, 
back to this race with Trump.